Adam Eaton signs with the Chicago White Sox. So Eaton going back to a place where he had success earlier on in his career before they traded him to Washington. It's a one-year, $7 million deal for Eaton. Eaton, he was in outfield, or I guess they were targeting. Obviously, they wanted George Springer over there in Chicago. But I doubt they're going to get him now. And now we're adding Eaton on a one-year deal. He's a guy that could still do a few things to help a ball club. He could lead off. He's still a decent fielder. And he could steal some bases. I know his stats weren't great last season with Adam Eaton. But Washington, he had 22 runs scored, 4 homers, 17 RBIs, 3 stolen bases. With a 226 batting average and a 285 on base was Eaton. He's a guy, though, he puts the ball in play. He didn't strike out that much, only 32 times in 159 at bat. So Eaton, he can help the White Sox. It's a good signing for them. But for fantasy, Eaton's a guy you probably take a flyer on in late rounds or you don't even draft them at all. But I like the move for Chicago. They get another veteran presence in there, Nomar Mazzara. He got non-tended, so Eaton's going to take his spot. He'll teach the young guys like Makota. Aloy Jimenez, Luis Roberts over there. So it's a good landing spot for Eaton. It's a one-year prove-it deal. His fantasy value is not going to be better than his on-team value, I believe, for the Chicago White Sox. But this is a guy we've seen him have some big seasons. And maybe this year he could surprise and be valuable in fantasy baseball. But anyway, the Chicago White Sox bring back Adam Eaton after a few years being on Washington to a one-year, $7 million deal. And he's going to be starting most likely in right field entering the 2021 season.